Hey guys, it's your girl OG Teddy B back with another video. In this video, I created this look using my 35U Morphe palette. I did have to use some eyeshadows from my MAC palette and like one eyeshadow from one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. But that's because the 35U palette is all shimmer colors. So I did need some like matte colors to kind of blend everything out. Anyways, thank you so much to, for coming to my channel if you haven't been here before. If you have already been here and you're back, thank you so much for coming back. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, OG Teddy Beauty. Follow me on Snapchat, OG Teddy B. And if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Okay, y'all, let's jump right into it. I'm prepping my eyes with my Pro Long Wear, utterly becoming paint pot. And I'm prepping my eyes because I want my eyeshadows to be vibrant and to obviously stay all day. So the first shade I'm using is from my MAC palette and it is Electric Eel. I'm using that with a 224 blending brush and I'm just kind of diffusing that shadow out to start the gradient. The second shade I'm using is Atlantic Blue with my 217 MAC brush. And this brush is a little denser so we'll pack the shade in just a bit more and I'm putting that directly in my crease and then diffusing it all with the 224 brush again afterwards. I had to jump into the Anastasia Artist palette into the shade Blue Velvet. It's like a matte navy blue shade. And I'm taking my 217 brush and applying that in my crease, but I'm actually using this to carve out kind of a cat eye shape as you can see here. So I'm kind of carving that shade out, then pushing that color into the crease area. After I do this, I'm taking a 286 brush and I'm diffusing that out because I don't want the shape of it to be too harsh, but I want it to be very defined, but I still want it to look fairly seamless. That's why you'll see me going in with a 217 brush and then back in with the 286 blending brush. So blending guys, it's super important. Take your time when you're doing your eyeshadows. I'm jumping into my Morphe 35U palette, guys. I could not wait to use this palette. And then taking the color that is three rows down and it's the second one over, that teal blue shade, and applying that to kind of the outer lid, center of the lid area. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful color, guys. I was, I just like fell in love with this color. After that, I'm taking the color that is the same, it's in the same row. It's actually the next one beside it or the next shade beside it. And I'm applying that in the inner or, yeah, the inner lid area. And then after I've done that, I'm going to start to kind of pack it on a bit more so it looks very intense and vibrant and then marry the two colors together. And once I've done all of that and the shades are all on, I'm going to go back in with a 217 brush and kind of take a bit of that blue velvet shade and just kind of bring it into the inner corner eye area as well and finish up my eye look pretty much. Now I'm lining my eyes with my L'Oreal, I think this is the Intense felt tip liner or liquid liner something like that it will be down below in the description box the eyeliner wasn't like the huge uh, focus of this look that's obviously why I did such a thin wing but I did a wing liner because I wanted some contrast against the blue by the way guys I'm doing a voiceover because people are always like oh when I watch your videos I still don't know how to do anything so maybe if I talk through it you guys will kind of have, have a better understanding of what you're doing and how to do it and guys, this is an old favorite, my Demi Wispies. I had to go back into my lash drawer and grab these out and they were perfect for this look. I'm jumping into the skin now. I'm just taking my Prep and Prime Peach Luster Pen and applying that on any area where I have any darkness. So like under my eyes, uh, my acne scarring, kind of around my mouth and then blending it all out. If you have a corrector guys, it will help to correct your skin and you will lose. You will use way less foundation. Take it from me. I'm now going to prime my skin with the Natural Radiance Primer, but just in my cheek area because as I've said in previous videos, that area is super dry right now. I don't know why, but it just is. And then I'm going to take my Pore Vanishing Stick from Estee Lauder and apply that to all the areas where I'm oily, so pretty much my T-zone area. And jumping into my foundation, I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow, duh, in the shade Macau or Macau, I still don't know how to pronounce that, and I'm applying that all over my face. I'm not using a lot of foundation, I'm using a good amount and brushing it out and blending it out properly, but then I'm going to go over certain areas that I want more coverage in with my Beauty Blender. I'm taking my HD Pro Conceal in the shade, I believe this is Fawn, and I'm applying that so under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, on my forehead. You guys know the drill if you watch my previous videos. But then I'm kind of adding something new now. I'm kind of always putting it on my chin now, you know. I just kind of like that look it gives me. And taking my Real Techniques Blending Sponge and blending that out. Guys, make sure your sponge is damp when you are blending out your concealer. If your sponge is not damp, you'll still get good coverage. But it, the, the product doesn't blend as easily when the sponge is drier. When it's damp, you will have no issues blending it out. So 
So pretty much all I'm doing is just blending this out, blending to the gods because blending is such an important step when you are doing your makeup, guys. Now, I'm gonna set my face with my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder. Whoever, okay, whoever invented this step where you take your damp sponge and push the powder into your skin, hallelujah, okay, because you guys have changed my makeup forever. Like, doing this step just makes your makeup look so flawless and it just pushes the powder perfectly into your skin. It almost just melts right into your makeup, guys. Definitely try out this step because it's made a huge difference. In my past videos, I used to apply this powder with a brush. What brush? What brush? I'm gonna put um, go over everything now with my MAC powder in dark, and this is my mineralized powder. I like to go over this, or go over my powder with this. I just feel it gives it, it brings a look together. And I'm gonna jump into the brows quickly. I'm just gonna kinda re-outline them because when I put concealer on my forehead, I tend to lose my brows. And after that, I could not decide obviously what <laughs> liquid eyeliner I was gonna use. It was between the blue or the gold. I'm kinda happy I chose the gold. But now I'm gonna just line my lower lash line. The general rule of thumb is whatever you do to your crease area, you do to the bottom. So I'm just applying those same blue shades, so Atlantic Blue on the bottom. I think this is actually blue velvet that I'm applying here. Once I've applied blue velvet, I'm gonna apply the teal blue shade that I have on my lid and then the ice blue shade in the inner lid area and then just take blue velvet in a 217 brush and just blend it all in. Once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna apply the liquid liner on the bottom and then take that silvery shade there and mix that into the ice blue color. Apply some, apply that on my brow bone as well. Apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and my upper lashes. And that completes the eyes. I'm gonna jump into the face. I'm taking my NW43 Studio Fix Powder and just kind of applying that around my face to warm it up a bit and then lightly contouring my face. So I contour under my jaw area, the perimeter of my face mainly. And when I'm contouring, I'm kind of putting a rounded motion because I'm pushing the product up instead of down. And then I'm contouring my nose too. No sees nose, guys, because God knows my mom does not have this nose, okay? Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna start blushing my face with my Copper Tone Blush by MAC. I love this blush, it is so natural looking. And then going over it with my highlight, guys. I don't like go overdo the highlight. I just like a smiz of highlight, not too much. I have too much texture. <laughs> I'm going into the lips, guys. I could not decide what lip color I was going to use, but I decided on this one. I picked this up in my last haul. If you guys have not seen that haul, go and see it. It will be linked down below. But this is also where I picked up this NYX Liquid Lip Suede. But this shade is Alien, and it's like a black color, but I don't know, I feel like it it looks kind of blackish gray with a tint of blue. I don't know. Then I'm applying some more Prep and Prime spray and then my Urban Decay setting spray. And that's it, guys. Voila. Just like that, I am done. You will know what to do. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, rate, and comment. Bye.